pitch from Familia to Fowler on the way. And it's in there, strike three called. The Mets win the pennant. The New York Mets have won the National League pennant. Put it in the box. The New York Mets for the first time. In oh, wow. Years. Welcome to Morning Joe. Dude. It's Thursday, wow. October 22nd. Did you see that, Joe? You stayed up late to watch, right? I sure did. I sure did. In between watching Back to the Future on Back to the Future Day with my children, we were flipping over. It was really just unbelievable what the New York Mets were able to accomplish. And who knew Mike Barnacle that they actually have Babe Ruth on their team? Mike? Daniel Murphy, uh, six home runs and six straight uh, playoff games. It's never been done before in baseball history. It was absolutely amazing. Uh, the Mets absolutely turned that crowd right around in the first inning. With their pitching, Joe, I would have to say the odds-on favorite to be the next World Series champion. Well, there Willie Geist, where did this come from? It's unbelievable. Joe Madden, the Cubs manager, said after the game, they just never let us up for air. They got on the scoreboard early, and their pitching was so good, they shut us down. Remember, like, two months ago, they were like a 500 team, yeah. and this pitching just turned up. Daniel Murphy now is one home run away from tying Barry Bonds for the record for most home runs in the postseason. Barry Bonds and Daniel Murphy, and he's still got a whole World Series to go. And, and one of the keys uh, here, Joe, is the uh, general manager of the New York Mets, Sandy Alderson, graduate of Dartmouth, Harvard Law School, the United States Marine Corps platoon leader in Vietnam and he pulled off a series of trades at the trade deadline yeah. July 31st that absolutely transformed that team as Willie just indicated literally overnight.